there's pretty widespread agreement uh, on the general goals for broadband policy. <clears throat> Uh, we want to preserve an open internet where consumers can access the content of their choice. We want to have an environment that is conducive to uh, investment and innovation. We want to promote competition and we want to expand access. The debate really is over, uh, the, the debate really is over first, um, how, to, uh, how to achieve those goals, and second, whether the open internet is really at risk, whether there is a problem. Uh, that needs to be addressed. Third point is that net neutrality regulation, and, 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 and I stress the regulation part of that phrase because, again, uh, there is a pretty widespread agreement uh, on the desirability of an open internet, but net neutrality regulation would represent a pretty sharp departure from the status quo. Um, Proponents of net neutrality regulation uh, often suggest that they are simply trying to maintain the internet as we know it, suggesting that they're trying to maintain the status quo. But the reality is that the, that the types of regulations that are being talked about uh, would represent a dramatic change. Uh, at least in the U.S., the broadband market is uh, is largely unregulated, and I would argue that's been that's been uh, that's been pretty successful. Um, but some proposals under consideration uh, could subject the broadband market to something that resembles uh, something like traditional public utility regulation, which is, is not what we have now. So in the U.S., we are now getting closer to adopting some type of net neutrality uh, regulations, as people in this room probably know. The Federal Communications Commission has uh, has issued a formal notice of proposed rulemaking. And what we do will undoubtedly um, have an influence uh, elsewhere. Um, proponents of this, of, of, of net neutrality regulation, are concerned uh, about uh, potential threats to the open evidence, but to, to the open uh, internet. But really, there's, there's, there's really um, pretty little evidence of actual problems. And this is reflected in the fact that if you read the Federal Communications Commission's notice, the word uh, may uh, appears 199 times. You know, there are lots of problems that may happen, but in terms of problems that actually have happened, uh, the notice is pretty well restricted to, to, uh, to uh, well-known incidents of uh, Madison River, a small, a small telephone company which would uh, uh, in, which we're in, in 2005, there was an incident of uh, blocking the OIP, and the uh, 2007 uh, incident involving uh, Comcast, uh, Comcast, uh, Comcast network management practices, and these these incidents uh, uh, were remedied relatively quickly uh, after the complaints were made. 